Well, the cancer doctor accused in a massive Medicare fraud scheme sits in jail tonight after a judge revoked Dr. Fareed Fada's bond. And the laundry list of charges continues to grow. 7 Action News reporter Smitha Kaloki was inside the federal courtroom where families of patients declared a victory. This was the original nine-page indictment against Dr. Fareed Fada. Well, today, it's being dropped for this one, a document twice the size. The 18-page superseding indictment now launches 14 charges against Dr. Fareed Fada instead of just one charge from the original complaint. Fada was arraigned on those new charges and with it, got a new bond order. Families of Dr. Fada's patients gave the thumbs up as they left the courthouse shortly after the judge denied the Oakland Township oncologist bond. Inside, where cameras aren't allowed, the judge told Fada he is presumed innocent until guilty, but he is believed to be a flight risk. It's amazing. It's awesome. I'm very happy. Hopefully I can sleep tonight. I didn't sleep last night. Liz Lupo lost her mother after she was treated by the cancer doctor. Federal prosecutors believe Fada misdiagnosed and mistreated patients in order to bill Medicare and other insurance programs for millions of dollars. His wife, who was also the CFO for the practice, had nothing to say as she left the courthouse. But patients' family members, like Diane Swaggle and Jeff Burrs, remained vocal. So he gave him another treatment that day. So that was Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday he had treatments. By Thursday, he was on life support. The big question in our family is, was the chemotherapy a cure or was it a killer? A trial date for February 4th has been set. From the federal courthouse, Smitha Kaloki, 7 Action News.